We're here with the bike and kit of professional triathlete Hella Fredrickson. We're actually out in Lanzarote whilst Hella's in the middle of a rather intense training block. So her bike is set up for training rather than being race ready. But first thing we should chat about is this paintwork. It's Trex Project One custom paintwork, which Hella's actually designed herself with this rather striking blue for the main frame color. The thing I really like is this fade work we've got going along the top, in between the rear stays, and even on the handlebars. So starting on the front end, we have a fully integrated Bontrager handlebar stem combo. And chatting to Hella, she loves just how adjustable this front end is. She's got an ever so slight tilt upwards of the aero bars and the rests. Um, and that can be done really simply by tightening or loosening two bolts just in the center. You can easily adjust the stack height underneath the rests um, and also the width of the arm rests as well can be adjusted really easily. And then a really cool feature is that you can put any poles in you like. And to finish it off, Bontrag have also got their own bottle cage which has been neatly attached between the arm rests. So moving on, the bike is fully kitted out with Shimano Durace Di2-9150, which we can see on the end of the poles here, the shifters work the rear mech, and then we also have shifters here on the base bar, which work the rear mech and the front mech. Now whilst we're here, we may as well talk about the brakes. So let's start with the front brake, which is, well, hidden. It's hidden the front fork, and that's for aerodynamic reasons. And rather than it being a right faff to try and make any adjustments, Trek have thought about that. So there's a couple of little openings on either side, so you can make those fine adjustments. And then the rear brake is hidden under the bottom bracket with its own aero shell. Very neat. Now moving back through the bike, and as we said earlier, she's fully kitted out with Shimano Dura Ace. So we have Dura Ace crank set here in a 53-39 ratio. I should say actually for a lot of the races this year, she will be switching to a 54 big ring. She's currently got 167.5 crank lengths and on the end of those, she's riding the Look Keo Blade pedals. And interestingly, she did say when she returns from this camp, she's gonna be changing the bottom bracket bearings for ceramic speed. And moving to the rear cassette, she's currently riding an 1128 cassette because she's in Lanzarote with some fairly beefy climbs, but she has said she'll switch out for races and possibly even something like an 1123 for really flat, fast races. Now let's move on to the wheels. And given that Hella's only just signed to Trek and Bontrager, she doesn't currently have her Bontrager training wheels here, but she has told us that for race day, she'll probably be opting for the Bontrager Aeolus 5s or 7s. And while she is here training, she has got Continental Grand Prix 4000 tires in a 23 mil width. So whilst she's out here training, she's wanting to ride to power. So she's actually got a power tap hub on her training wheels. But when she comes back from Lanzarote, another thing that she'll be having added to this bike is an SRM power meter. Now for the saddle, and this is the Bontrager Hilo Triathlon specific saddle. Hella's actually tried a number of different saddles over the years and she just prefers the slightly narrower, narrower road feel saddles. So the Hilo ticks all the boxes for her there. And then we have this Bontrager storage box on the back and it's actually been designed so it's fully integrated with the frame. So in there, she's got all her spares, um, for punctures, etc. And then on the top tube, we've got this Bontrager storage compartment for things like her gels on race day. Now, moving on to some of her kit, and she is here for training rather than racing, so this is more training specific. So she's got her Roka Maverick X wetsuit because apparently the swimming pool's quite cold here. Um, Hella's a very good swimmer, very natural in the water, so this has got a good neutral buoyancy throughout the whole suit. Um, moving on, she's got the Bontrager Circuit helmet, which is incredibly light, it's lovely. Um, she uses the Oakley EV Zero sunglasses because she really likes the fact it doesn't have a frame along the top here. So she's got a really good field of vision, especially when she's doing aero work. She's got her head down a little bit more. And then moving on, finally, she's got the Bontrager Mirage cycling shoes. Again, these are for training. She'd wear something different for racing. These are a women's specific shoe, so they've actually got a slightly narrower forefoot. They've got boa lacing. And she's also using maximum flow touch. She is nine degrees uh, for her cleats and pedals. Okay, for those free hub fans out there, here we go. So there we go, that is Hella Fredrickson's pro bike and kit. And if you like this paintwork as much as I do, 
hit that thumbs up button. And to see more videos from GTN, just click on the globe to subscribe. And if you're in the middle of your winter training and maybe you want to do an FTP test, you can find out how to by clicking on that video up there. If you want to see another pro bike from Kim Morrison, just click down there.